What's up guys, it's Tony from Lomo Paintball and today we are talking the top goggles of 2023. And why? Because who's the best source for paintball masks? Paintball mask is LomoPaintball.com. So we're jumping right on into this one today, Mark. We've got an array of goggles kind of asked around customers and all of us here at the warehouse. We figured we've got an HK Army SLR on the table. We've got the classic JT Proflex. We've got the Empire EVS. We've got the Push Unite goggle. Obviously the Die i5 and that Carbon Pro. So that would be our pick of the best goggles so far of 2023. All right, guys, thanks for watching. It's LoneWolfPaintball.com, and we are out of here. Video done. <laughs> Which one do you want to dive into, Mark? Oh, let's just start with that HK SLR on SLR. the SLR. So a lot of people are like, the SLR made the list. Yeah, uh, they put a lot of work, HK put a lot of work into the ventilation system here. A lot of their pro players are actually using this goggle or pro sponsored players using this and tons and tons of ventilation near the ears, out the side and definitely through the front and obviously back in through the other side. So communication is easily heard, breathability is great. So the HK Army SLR is definitely making the list today. Obviously removable foam, tons of lenses, different color lenses to throw into this goggle. Uh, it comes with like their, um, I forget what they call like their pro pad or whatever they want to call that, but it's got a nice pad here in the back, silicone tacking so it doesn't slide off the back of your head and uh, a nice little, nice little padded chin strap on there, Mark II, which obviously if you're playing any tournament, you need a chin strap. So you have the nice padded chin strap. And overall, it's a lightweight goggle. It's not a big profile. Like I said, you can talk easily, you can communicate, you can breathe easily, and it's super, super comfortable to wear. So And the lens change was pretty easy, if I remember correctly. Correct. And once again, this is just a real quick video on our thoughts and a lot of the customers out there that love these goggles. And uh, if you want a full breakdown, figure out, find the video and we've done it on that as well. So this is the HK Army SLR, plenty of upgrades available, very, very nice mask and not gonna hurt the wallet too bad. Up next, we're talking the ProFlex, Mark. This thing has been around for a very, very long time. The, I will definitely go out there on a limb, the most customizable goggle on the market. You're talking ears, you're talking bottoms, you're talking frames, lenses, visors, you name it. The ProFlex is super customizable, been around forever. The only thing I will say on this, as we know, changing the lens on the ProFlex can get a little sticky. It's not as easy as the other goggles out there, but customizable. 100% you can build your own and do what you please with this bad boy. Super, super flexible up in the front, which they're known for. I see a lot of paintball players out there with bad habits, wanna smoke cigarettes on their downtime, they flip it up, you've got your mouth. Obviously the breathability is very nice because there's tons of ventilation up in the front. And like I said, you can swap out the ears. If you want hard ears, you want soft ears, it's completely up to you, you can do all of your own customizable builds. The JT Pro Flex definitely has to make the list. Would you agree? I would definitely agree. Yeah. When it ain't broke, what's there to fix? You gotta flex it. Flex Ooh. it. All right, so the EVS, this one also might kind of take you guys by surprise, but if you guys wear glasses while you play, great goggle to have. You're talking field of vision. The lens on this thing is huge. It does have a nice tri-layer foam on the inside too, so that easily clips in and clips out. Tons of lens options also available for this goggle, obviously. If you don't like a plain black or a plain clear, you can get any mirror you want, red, green, gold, they, they, you, you name it, they've got it. Super comfortable and also very, very easily to change that lens on here. Like I said, check out the other videos that we've already done on these. Great goggle system. Mark, what's your favorite part about the EVS? What do you think? Uh... That I look like a spaceman when I'm on the field? Definitely looking like a spaceman, but your field of vision, you're not gonna miss anything in the peripherals because this lens is huge. Fits, fits a lot of the bigger guys out there too. So like I said, especially if you guys are wearing glasses, I mean, the, 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 the amount of room inside of this goggle is awesome. So EVS has to make the list. That's for me. Whoo, wanna go into the push unite? Is that what that is underneath that yeah. crazy case? So obviously the goggles that don't have a protective case already on the table, but push, I think near one of the first or second to come out with a goggle that comes 
in a very, very hard case that you guys don't have to worry about buying an extra one. I mean, they're not the cheapest goggle, but they're very, very nice. I um, cut a hole in my case so I can wear it while it's in the case. Whoa, mind blowing, mind blowing. All right, Mark, back to the goggles. He puts a hole in the case, you can wear it while it's in the case. Okay, all right. Magnetic chin strap. I think Push was kind of the uh, the leaders of this one. So the magnetic chin strap, very, very important out there. Like I said, if you guys play tournaments, you guys need this and you just don't even have to look. Just clips right in place. Uh, tons of lens options available and they're super easy to change the lens as well. Uh, they come with, you can do uh, more coverage or less coverage too, depending on the sides here. I know they make that an option and they have so many, so many different prints of this actual goggle itself. I think the most important thing for me though is you have the adjustable nose piece up there in the front mark, which obviously coming in the hard case is your little, is your crafty tool. So you can adjust that nose piece with the tool. So that's a very, a good attribute to this goggle, I would say. So I like that. Push is killing it. Uh, good job out there, Brian Benini, Lasoya, all those guys over there. So. Yay, Brian. <laughs> go, Brian, go. And the hard case is obviously a big sell for this too. So your chin strap will stick out the top as like a carrying part. So once you get this zipped up to keep that goggle and lens nice protected, you can use the chin strap to actually carry the goggle or get a hold of it, pull it out of the gear bag. On to the Die i5. Die i5 has been around a minute, but it has tried and true. I think it has that GSR Pro strap that they call it, the ratchet strap, that's what I call it. This thing to tighten and loosen it. So it's kind of like a, what is that, like a snowboarding goggle type thing, Mark? Uh, I know they use it on like bicycle helmets. Bicycle helmets, I think construction helmets also have it. So it's got this, uh, this turn dial knob, loosen or tighten it. Once you put this goggle on your head, either left or right, you can tighten it by that center dial there. Extremely comfortable, obviously fully padded. Once again, the foam on this bad boy is a tri-layer foam, does pop in and pop out. Tons of uh, lens options available for this bad boy. It's small, it's minimalistic. The breathability is pretty good. You guys can definitely um, communicate with your teammates very, very well for the goggle being as small as it is. Obviously you guys can see all the, the portholes in the front. And overall, the, yeah, the Die i5 has been out for a minute, but it's a great goggle. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. And heck and heck, Mark, it even comes with a, a GoPro mount. It does. Yes, the media it, mount. You can put it, that either goes, I know you're, you're ad, apt with it. Can't it go in one of these symbols here on the side or on the front? On the, on the front center, and I've never used it on the side. I know there's a way to do it. I think, yeah, you can pop out one of these jewels or something and put it on the side as a side GoPro mount or even up on the top of the goggle. But either way, the Die i5 definitely has to make the list. Super comfortable. I mean, fairly wallet friendly, but once you buy this goggle, you're probably not gonna wanna find another one. So that is the Die i5. Lastly, that made the list, it has to be another goggle that comes in a very, very nice ventilated case. It is the Carbon Pro. That case looks like the Exalt and HK cases. Yeah, but it comes with the goggle when you buy it. So up here in the top, you've got a nice little spot if you wanna store microfibers or an extra lens, you can do that as well. So this little top part unzips, which is very, very nice. Was it this one that we figured out you could almost fit a hopper in there? Yeah, it's a, it's, a big, it's a big spot. And also throughout here though, Mark, ventilation. So if you're putting your goggle back in after a long sweaty day at paintball, obviously they made this case for ventilation. Need some breathability. You don't want mold the next time you put your mask on. So very, very nice. The Carbon Pro actually does come with two different lenses. So the lens that comes stock in the goggle and it comes with an extra clear lens in a nice kind of like neoprene case. Well, that's not fair because the EVS comes with a clear lens and a... And guess what? It's also got the magnetic visor in there as well. And Carbon also sells a storm fan. So Carbon, Carbon coming out swinging, obviously. So you get an extra visor, get the foam. You can click that in up top. And uh, for a rainy day, if you go rain to sun, it's all magnetic. It just simply pops on and pops, pops off, pops back on. I like that. The case, obviously, itself is a very, very nice addition. And it's got, it's got style points. It's like orange and black, style points. Onto the goggle itself though, it's kind of a translucent color. It's not completely see-through, but the Pro, super, super flexible. These ones also have an option to 
I believe to do more or less coverage if you want a little bit more around the chin area or whatnot to drop it a little lower. Plenty of ventilation all the way around. Very, very flexible, so communication is going to be easy. The lens swaps on these are also very easy. Once again, we have full videos on that. And then that top, you see that orange piece, Mark? Yes, sir. If you're talking letting, letting steam out so your goggles aren't going to be fogging up, right here. That is a, that's a very good definition of, that's true ventilation, letting that steam on out. The carbon straps, plenty of silicone tacking near the back of your head, so this goggle is not going to be sliding up and down on you. And overall, just honestly a great product, a great goggle. Carbon puts a lot of time into their engineering and manufacturing process of their products, whether it be their goggles, pants, pod packs, pods, all of it. Carbon's, carbon's a great product. So overall, guys, these are, what did we do? Two, four, we did six goggles. That was kind of, as of right now in 2023, if you guys are playing, kind of evolving into the sport or playing more towards the pro level, these are the goggles that we would recommend. And Mark, where do they find the goggles? I'm putting you on the spot. LoneWolfPaintball.com, of course. And take it easy, guys. We'll see you later. Later.